Drake is an extremely popular figure in the music industry, and apart from being a rapper, he is also an entrepreneur, songwriter, singer, and actor. The Canadian rapper has a net worth of around $180 million. Sure, that's a lot of money, but how does Drake own a $220 million private jet? You'll find that out and many more exciting facts about the private jet in this video. We'll take a look inside the plane and you can let us know how cool you think Drake's jet is. Welcome to Luxury Logic. Let's get started. So when you heard the word private jet, what comes to your mind? For me, it's a white, small and handy aircraft, but Drake's private jet is nowhere near the same as a conventional private jet. It is much, much bigger. That's because this is actually a 767. What's a 767? Simply put, it refers to the size of the plane, which is absolutely massive. And on first look, it would very much look the same size as a passenger plane. To put this into perspective, Air Force One, if you've seen it, is also quite huge. But that too is a 747. This makes Drake's private jet two complete platforms bigger than Air Force One. And if you don't know, Air Force One is the jet used for the official transport of the President of the United States of America. The aircraft is more than 20 years old, but it has been thoroughly renovated inside and outside. After the extensive renovation, this private jet is no less than a brand new aircraft. Does that make it a recycled product? If it does, then I have not seen as impressive and luxurious of a recycled thing as this beauty. Let's take a look inside the plane then, shall we? Since 767 is a commercial-sized aircraft, that means that if you removed all the seats in a commercial plane, it would kind of turn into a huge and spacey room, right? Well, then you can place whatever inside of it that you would like and design it to your perfection. Walking inside, you will find leather armchairs that your back will thank you for sitting on while traveling in the air. The bathrooms are also super luxurious, which is probably a million times better than the conventional airplane washroom where you can barely stand. Another thing spotted in some videos was the kitchen, which seemed no less than the best kitchens you can imagine in the biggest of houses. Kind of like flying business class, but there are no other travelers and everything is 10 times better. On the outside, the plane will appear like most other planes. The Air Drake sign looks really cool though and I can only imagine how much I would love looking at it if it said, my name. That and the OVO owl painted on the front door make it really easy to spot though. We can also still see cargo jet painted on the airplane for over two decades, but the fresh paint job gives it a much better and newer look. Wait, cargo jet, why does it say that? That is because this specific plane served as a cargo plane for more than 20 years before it came into the possession of Drake. In fact, it comes with 206 tons of cargo capacity and a fuel tank that can hold up to 20,000 gallons of fuel. It is estimated that at least $100 million were spent to renovate this plane. If someone is flying a plane of that size just to be able to travel themselves, then there should be no doubt that the owner of that plane must be paying extraordinary money just for fuel costs. If we assume, and this is a pretty accurate assumption, that jet fuel costs about $1.08 a gallon, then we can go from there. Depending on the number of miles the plane flies, the fuel costs will obviously vary, but a general look at Drake's frequent movements on his plane allows us to calculate an approximation. It is estimated that the wrapper should be paying roughly $1 million a year in fuel costs alone. That is, without a doubt, a lot of money, but it's not half as bad as it sounds. The thing is that Drake is comfortably making about $70 million in a single year. What are a million dollars compared to $70 million? If it allows you to fly anywhere, anytime in your very own and majestic private jet. But well, what if I tell you that Drake is not even footing the bill on these fuel costs? That may help you get a little perspective on how he owns the plane without having paid for it. Kind of awesome, isn't it? How Drake actually ended up getting it for free though? Well, let's get down to that. So there's this Canadian cargo carrier called CargoJet. The 767 was in fact a gift from this company to the Canadian rapper Drake. CargoJet operates internationally as well as locally, and it is essentially an airline that deals with cargo. The exact nature of the agreement between the two parties is not clear, but we do know that Drake did not have to pay a single penny for the plane, 
and that it was presented to the public as a gift. The company says that Drake had given the company a lot of business in the past, and Drake said that he was happy to promote local Canadian business. All right, but why the hell did CargoJet give away a free airplane to Drake just like that? Isn't that like a huge loss? Well, it depends on how you look at it. To answer the first question, publicity is perhaps the best word. As soon as Drake got his gift, he posted the video on Instagram. Need I remind you that Drake has more than 76 million followers on Instagram? As you are hearing about it right now, millions of other people would become curious and hence be able to look at the company at least once in their lifetime. Now remember the cargo jet symbol is still imprinted on the plane. Drake is flying everywhere all the time, so essentially it is like free publicity throughout the world wherever Drake is flying. Not just publicity, but a public endorsement from a star as well. And that stuff costs millions of dollars. By gifting an aircraft, the company smartly incurred a one-time cost for free advertisement for the rest of Drake's life. I think that's a pretty good example of a win-win situation. Most people were really happy for the rapper after he acquired the jet for free and celebrated the lavish pictures that displayed the indoor area. However, others raised objections, asking how and why the company could afford that deal, where the star received a gift higher than his net worth. We don't care, as we think if the company, the celebrity, and his fans are all happy, then there is nothing to worry about. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the video inside Drake's $220 million private jet. Would you buy yourself a private jet if you had a few hundred million dollars? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.